So today we're back in the long drive with what is going to be my hardest episode yet because my fury keeps exploding and you guys know the rules. If I die, the series is over. So stay tuned until the end to see what happens and let's jump in. Oh my goodness. We are absolutely ripping it up here in the desert. Uh, <laughs> ignore the whole fact that there's a, we're going to call this strawberry jam all over the f steering wheel. I, I totally didn't almost die several times uh, last episode, but... I think it's time we move on. We need to find another vehicle. We need to find something with more storage. Maybe a little less speed because I'm liking this series and you guys are too. And I kind of don't want it to end soon. Uh, so I probably should avoid dying. Plus, you know, the Fury has served its purpose. Uh, we've gotten many great episodes out of it. But yeah, I, I feel like it's probably time to go maybe find something a little bit more spacious. So if you watched the last episode, you know that I have a mod. Oh my god! That was like within a foot of death there. Okay, let's get off the road. Uh, like I was saying, you guys, if you watched the last episode, you know I have a mod enabled that has added 17 new stops to this game. And honestly, it's made me way more excited to play because I don't know what we're actually going to find out here. And I'm hoping that there's uh, even more unique stops. But I must say, it's a little empty. There is a stop over there to the left. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe it's one of the new ones. I'd like to get a vehicle. Also, I'm just bouncing right now. Uh, my tires are kind of going bad. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Jeez, could you imagine how terrible this would feel in the seat? Just having your butt thrown around in it. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh, what is wrong with the land here? Why is it so bumpy right now? Okay, what is that? Oh, it's just a gas station. So this is a normal stop. Well, sometimes the gas station has some decent pieces to it. Don't think there's really... I think actually the motorcycle will spawn here occasionally. I don't think you get normal vehicle spawns at this particular one. But uh, we can at least pass by and see if it's worth looking into. Uh, there's a coffin out there. Oh, there's a mutant already. Oh, come on, man. Uh, no tires. I see body parts. Wait, is that a gun? Uh, oh, that's an engine. Okay, so it's body parts in one box, engine in another. Couple liquids. I think we're going to skip this. We're going to let this guy chase us, though. He's probably looking at his friend on the roof going, how could you do this? Well, guess what, loser? Bye. Yo, what the? Okay, yep, yeah, no, that's exactly... What is going on? Why am I flying through the sky all of a sudden? By the way, we passed by a, uh, a bus stop with a bus that had, like, zero to it. I do notice... What is that? Is that a windmill? That's not in the default game, right? No, because it's normally, like, towers, watchtowers. I think this is new. Is there anything around it is the question. All right, the road is to the right. Let's just go maybe take a look. Is it spinning? Um, all right. Oh, it is. Um, kind of random, but there's not anything to it, I don't think. Is there anything on the bottom? No, it's just, yeah, it's just exist. I mean, it's kind of cool looking. All right, look around. Come on, there's got to be, like, I'm looking for, like, a two to three-story building. I, I know there's one in this pack. Uh, it's on one of the pictures for it. It looks almost like an old, like, apartment building. Uh, I'd really like to find something like that, because I feel like that would have a lot of, like, really good loot in it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. How do you even crash? Okay. Can I get off this? Maxwell, you, you okay? Jimmy's, you guys okay? Uh, I don't really care about the guy on top of the vehicle. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Parking brake on. <laughs> Turn the car off. You gotta make sure it doesn't roll off. Uh, there is a chance when I get this thing. How did... That might be... Okay, come on. If you guys were to score 1 out of 10 as far as, like, how impressive that landing was, like, let me know. Like, I'm gonna give that at least a solid 9. Editor, what's your score? Okay, I just gotta push this thing. Huh? Am I clipped into the... Why can't I push this right now? What the... Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, my good. I thought there for a second we were stuck. Uh, okay. Wait, why does the front end seem... Okay, there it goes. Oh, my goodness. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's a mirror. You know, I'm almost like, I don't even care at this point. This car, it served, like I said, it served its purpose. It did tremendous. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. Why can't I mount this? Doesn't this mount on the side here? Uh, you know what? We're just going to attach it. There we go. That's, that's good enough. That's how mirrors work. All right. Uh, let's get in. We need to find another stop, like, ASAP. Preferably with another vehicle. Okay, I have two what appears to be junkyards ahead of us. So, if you watched the last episode, uh, we did go through a junkyard. They're cool. But they only have really completely rusted out vehicles. Like, there's not a whole lot in there. There are some bins in there that have, like, some parts. So maybe we'll stop at the one on the left. It, it looks like it's maybe by the road. 
At least I'm almost 100% sure, unless it just hasn't loaded in. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the junkyard. Yeah, because there's an identical building over to the right. Uh, you got another... Okay, it's Watchtower to the left. Okay, come on. I, I need something new. I need something that's got a lot of loot and some good vehicles in it. Yep, here we go. Junkyard time. Hit the brakes. My brakes are barely working right now. There are mutants occasionally in these. Hold on, we can look over the wall here. Uh, look. Oh, man, there's a camper in there. Yeah, but... <laughs> Everything is, is super rusty. Oh, here comes the mutant. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get my gun out. I'm not prepared for this. Okay, I am prepared now. All right, you can uh, come out. I'm just gonna shoot you and take the stuff in your junkyard. At least I think this is is this Joe's junkyard. By the way, the mod creator, I believe, it's called Sergeant Joe. I thought I saw the person run. Out. Is there two in here? Is it just you? Just one? What are you doing? What? Hey, hey. Oh, jeez. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, here we go. What? The cylinder is so finicky on this thing uh, uh oh <laughs> yeah, it's fine i'm just gonna reload real quick and let's try to get some headshots here uh up 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 up, up. <laughs> jeez it just takes way too much i love it though all right let's go uh search this place out are you got more body oh it's more feet in there really what's up with all the body parts come on game uh, give me some good stuff all right we got some oil we got alcohol what really is alcohol used for in the game is there like any purpose to it? Uh, does anybody know? Oh, heck yeah. We're still in their bacon. They have a nice little TV set up here. You got some more bacon. Uh, I will take all of your bacon here. By the way, I think I just heard... Was that a bus that just stopped? Oh, hello. <laughs> Yeah, you can ignore the dead body out here. It's fine. Uh, let's go check these bins. These bins, uh, yeah, rusty. <laughs> uh, more rusty stuff. More rusty stuff. Occasionally, there's like good parts in these. At least I saw from one of the stops. All right, that one's got a couple radiators, but I mean, I guess. Oh my goodness, that's a big boy motor. Yeah, you could try to piece together one of these cars, but they're so rusty. Um, I think I'll pass. I'm sure we can find something down the road that's in a little bit better shape. By the way, it is uh, it's starting to get dark here. Maybe we should just camp out. That way we can see. The oh, I can't even sleep yet. Really? All right. Well, I guess we are going to be driving through the night then. Wait a minute. I'm clicking my... Oh, no. I lost my headlights. I didn't even notice that whenever I hit the pole back there. Oh, gosh darn it. I can't even see now. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, you know, I took really good care of this vehicle for like, I don't know, four or five episodes, and it's all gone downhill. Uh, like, literally, I'm going downhill right now. And you know, the bad thing is, I can't. Oh, I can sleep now. Wait, what happens if you fall asleep while moving? That doesn't seem to be very safe. Okay, just hit the brakes. We're gonna stop here. I gotta use daylight since I'm a ding dong. I didn't even think to look like, oh, if, or did I still keep my headlights? Uh, we kept all the Maxwells. All right, let's just go to sleep. Gonna be a better day tomorrow. We're gonna find some cool stops and we're gonna find a vehicle that's going to be uh, amazing. And it's gonna be a, like a nice uh, place for the cats. What the heck? That is a very pink person. Uh, hello, <laughs> how are you? I'm gonna try not to murder these people. You know, I had people in my comment section the other day that when I shot like one of these uh, random like civilians or whatever you want call them uh they got mad they were like why would you do that i was like um it's a dog eat dog world out here you got to survive and if, they, if somebody cuts me off again i'm gonna have to shoot him in the face uh all right uh, let's go see if we can maybe find something else here it's uh the terrain's not looking great up here it's looking pretty unforgiving so we're probably gonna die but that's eh, fine gee you've got to be kidding what is even happening right now like, if I stay on the road, I risk getting run over by AI. If I do the off-roading, something is making my vehicle... Is it that cactus that's stuck by the engine? Something is, is making my vehicle really unstable and really, like, way more balancey than it's been. Like, I feel like we done threw in a different, like, set of shocks and springs in here. And, yeah, we pumped them up to max because, yeah, it's it's really hard to drive. But look at that bouncing that I'm getting. Is it bouncing off the... No, I don't... There should be no reason that little piece of cacti uh, would be making it do this. Is it, like, accounting for the weight that I have in the vehicle right now? I've got quite a bit of stuff in here. Uh, to be fair, it kind of looks like the inside of my, uh, my vehicle is, like, a hoarding uh, house or something. Like, I look like I have a problem. Uh, I don't. I just like to collect cats. I'm now a crazy cat person. Uh, we're just going to slide around this rock because I have no, like, stability here. Oh, my goodness. We're going to die this episode. If I don't find something stable and quick, either a truck, a diesel would be fine. I don't think I want to take a bus. Now, uh, the buses always wind up being a pain in the rear end. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, that was a nice landing. 
By the way, there's something. Is this a billboard up here? Uh, I hope the billboard is appropriate. <laughs> We're gonna go see it. Uh, that's definitely not the default game. That's another, I guess, one of the unique locations. Uh, it doesn't really do me any good because I don't think there's gonna be any loot on this thing. But yeah, there's definitely something up here. Uh, let's see if I could read it on a uh, video here. <laughs> My car just exploded like a balloon. What even just happened? By the way, I think it's just one of the radio stations. It's an advertisement for it. Oh my goodness. Um, yep. So we have exploded and all my stuff is littered throughout the desert here. Has anybody ever seen a vehicle pop like that? Like it wasn't even like a violent collision. It was just pop and all my pieces went flying. Um, okay, well we need to find the wheel. That's number one. Okay, the wheel's back there. Well, I guess we're just gonna scoop up all my stuff that flew out the back. Yeah, this, uh, this is great. I'm having the best time ever if you guys can't tell. <laughs> what is what is happening? Everything was so smooth and then, yeah, the vehicle decided to explode. Um, well, at least all this stuff kind of stayed in a straight line here, so I should be able to just pick everything back up. Uh, but not gonna lie, I'm a little demoralized right now. What the- what is- what's- okay, what is causing this? The cacti's gone. Why is the vehicle- is it- is it- my, hold on, let's get rid of the basket here. Is it like- uh, let's throw this in the back, maybe? Maybe something's bouncing off something? Does anybody know? You know what? You're- you're gone. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this cursed object we've had on this for like, I don't know how many episodes. You are staying in the desert. You have now been fired by the Komodo Corporation here. Uh, we're moving on. Uh, it was an executive decision. Uh, you have my board of members here of Maxwell, Tom, and the other unnamed cats, even though you guys have given out a ton of suggestions. Um, yeah, we, we've kicked- we fired Bob. He's gone. I- I seriously think maybe that's what's causing my issues. I mean, who would have thought that you don't need a dead body on top of your vehicle? Uh, by the way, all my bacon is now going to be extra seasoned. I mean, bacon's already salty, and I'm pretty sure, like, maybe it'd be a little salty out here. A little sandy, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I should probably take a drink here. All right, we're back on the road. My vehicle is deteriorating. I'm going to go ahead and point this out right now. I have the mod. It's been hard for me to tell, like, how much it's been affecting the vehicle. But I had the body of this vehicle spotless. Like it was shiny. And look, you can really see it in the white paint that it's starting to like rust again. So vehicle maintenance is a thing. Maybe that's what's going on here. Also, I swear my tires are starting to uh, break down, especially my fronts for some reason. Like they seem to be worse than the rear. The rear, at least I'm getting some grip because the tires aren't terrible. Uh, it is a rear wheel drive car, so you definitely want to have the good tires in the back. But yeah, I think it's, there's something just causing my woes here and I haven't quite figured it out. Something definitely was colliding. Hopefully we just cleared it up with that little mini explosion of our vehicle. Uh, not gonna lie, how I haven't died is the biggest miracle and you know that death is a thing i mean look at the blood on the steering wheel like also i think my life or my health is at like 75 percent right now uh, i just i don't get it like i would die almost every episode in my life oh my goodness okay maybe i shouldn't even talk about that um okay Whew. <laughs> we're, we're fine let's just keep driving here so yeah not gonna lie the desert has become a wasteland like there has been a real like drop in locations out here uh, a bit on the concerning side because eventually i'm gonna need gas again i've got i think i have quite a bit we found a decent sized tank last episode but yeah it's been a little on the bare side whoa what is that that's a satellite dish yeah but i feel like it's not gonna have anything with it like i think out of the like the 17 stops there's quite a few good ones but there's also some that just feel like they're more like filler but it does definitely change up uh, what you're getting to see out in the open, but I think a lot of them don't even have loot in them. Uh, we're gonna go over here and look at this, uh, satellite dish. Wait, you don't think we can contact the aliens, do you? Dude, you know, honestly, that'd be such a cool feature if there's, like, a button you can click on this and it would summon a UFO. Um, maybe that's a thing? Probably not. It looks like it's just elevated, but I want to take a look at it at least. Uh, wait, you know, it would be kind of funny if, like, it spawned in the UFO so you could just drive it over here. Dude. Okay, that, I mean, it's kind of cool looking. Uh, does it look like we interact with it any? Does it, does it move? Oh, is it moving? Hold on, hit the brakes. No, I don't think it's moving. I think it's static. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any, I mean, I could use the binoculars to get up there to see if there's, I, I doubt they put anything. Hold on, let me just zoom out here. Yeah, it looks empty. Uh, doesn't look like there's any openings up there. Uh, I mean, it's still cool. Uh, I like it, but not really of use to me. 
Yeah, honestly, maybe this add-on makes it a little bit harder because it's replacing some of the things that would have been like useful stops with stuff like that, which, like I said, that's completely fine. Uh, it kind of adds a little bit more to our hardcore uh, survival element here, but yeah. Uh, not what we're looking for. We're looking for something hopefully a little bit better. I need something I can go in and grab stuff and maybe a vehicle. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I haven't even seen really a, a usable vehicle. I mean, you had the rusty ones at the junkyard, but that's been it. All right, got a biome change coming up. We got a small stop here. Probably not going to be anything good, but maybe we can find at least a little bit of fuel. Maybe a mutant. No. Uh, nothing. Uh, hey, a little bit of gas. Hold on. We need to check our fuel level. Anyway. Oh, man. That truck is smoking over there. All right. Uh, I didn't see any mutants. Uh, we still had almost 11 liters, so we're not really that desperate when it comes to gas. I still have plenty of food and uh, liquid in the back, so I think we're actually probably okay. Got a gold bar here. What is it? Oh, I can't throw the gold bar. Hold on. How hard is this croissant? Let's go. Uh, oh, my goodness. That thing has to be really stale to be able to do that, right? Oh, and I might need to poop myself a little bit so I can eat. There we go. You got to make some room in your stomach. All right. Well, a um, little bit of fuel. That's about it. What is that? Per what is wrong with that person's arms and, like, feet? Um, is that a feet? Or no. Are they steering with their feet? I don't know what's going on there. Uh, so, man, I really... There was no headlights in here, right? I got a soccer ball. That's, like, really it. All right, Maxwell, we got to keep moving here. Uh, getting a little desperate for at least a new vehicle. Uh, at least we'll survive several more days. I think we're good there. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, look, I can see a stop up there. It's a haunted house. Well, we'll be fine if we don't die here. What What are even physics anymore? What the... No, you've got to be kidding me. It blew up the car again. <sighs> what are y'all looking at? Huh? Y'all looking at something? Have I entertained you enough today? All right, you know what? The basket's staying. We'll take the water. Oh, my goodness. Like, I don't even get it. I wasn't even going that fast. And then my car just pops up through the... Wait a minute. You don't think... Is that the hoses in there? Oh, it is. Is that causing my instability? Somebody's gonna know in the comment section. I really look forward to uh, checking that out. Yeah, what is causing this? This is beyond anything I've ever experienced. Like, my fury keeps exploding. This is, what, the second time it's done it? I, I'm losing stuff slowly because it's flying across the world. Uh, looks at my trunk and all that. I mean, I probably lost some other things. I think I got all the animals in it. When did I poop myself? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, here, let's go up here. We're going to be camping here for the night. Oh, man, I'd love to have that van right now. I I'd do anything for a van or something. Uh, because, yeah, this is getting, getting kind of old. Not going to lie. All right, I'm going to go to sleep. We'll put the rest of the vehicle somewhat back together. And, uh, well, at least we say we could, we survived another day. I mean, that's about the only thing we have going for us right now. Yep, this is fine. Just put that back on there. And we're going to put this back on, well, as soon as it'll mount here. Uh, there. All right, let's get out of here. Could you guys imagine if there was actual, like, exploding physics in the game? Like if like when the vehicle decided to do what it just did, it would just be a big ball of fire. Not gonna lie. I think that would be hilarious. Uh, so I'd probably be pretty disappointed. Alright, well, let's go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> hey, better them than me, right? Alright, uh, looks like we have a there's a haunted house coming up. You know what? I'm gonna entertain this. We're gonna go over there because a lot of times there's a vehicle in the back. Also, wait a minute. It's okay. We got a haunted house there, but I swear that looks like a church over there up on the hill. Mm, okay, we come back down to that. If we're going to do like one new awesome stop, uh, I think I kind of want to see what appears to be a church up there. We can always backtrack down to the haunted house. And there's like another thing way out there. All right, pay attention to the road. No more exploding vehicles. Let's slow it down a little bit. Just take our time. Let's get up there to the house in one piece. So I'm a bit confused. Was that? I could have swore I saw a stop up here that had like a huge point on it. It looked like the top of a church. It wasn't this, was it? Not gonna lie. This is a, a cool little stop. I haven't run into one of these. I'm so confused. I could have swore I saw what what I was seeing. Uh, maybe it was... Maybe there was the... Maybe the power pole behind it? Uh, yeah, I don't see it anymore. Um, maybe it was this. All right. Well, you know, I'll take this on. Okay, there is a mutant in here. Let's go ahead and, uh... <laughs> it was awkward. Uh, hello? How are you? You don't have a whole lot of stuff in here, but you know what? Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, yep, that's not good. Okay, just reload. I can't believe how many headshots you can take. Uh, up, 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 and we're done. All right, let's uh, search this place out. Okay, we got a ton of diesel in here. There's another thing we can open up. There really wasn't anything in the crates on the side. Uh, a couple tires, they're a little off. Uh, they're like new, but I guess I could change my fronts with a little smaller tire, which it'll probably be fine. 
Uh, I don't want to like get it off on as far as like say this corner's got a small tire and this other one's got a small tire. But I feel like if you do it on the same like axle, it'll probably be fine. Uh, that's definitely an engine in there. Got a bike. Uh, like I said, some diesel back here. Not a whole lot in here, uh, but it's enough. I mean, the tires will get us going. There's another small engine in here. Oh, what is in this bad boy? Oh, I'm going to just toss our gun at it. Uh, what was that? Oh, headlights. I don't think I can mount those. I don't even think I can force these things into here. Can I? I mean, it's going to look goofy if I can, but I, I take it, honestly. No, no mount point here. I can't even, like, attach it and turn it on. <laughs> uh, dang it. Oh, that stinks. Well, we've uh, we've had an episode and a half here. Probably should have died. My vehicle's exploded uh, several times, and yeah, we don't have a vehicle, so uh, I, I need something new here. Like the Fury is run its course. Uh, I think I'm finally done with it. Like I need something a little bit newer here. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment down below, and we will see you guys next time here in the long drive.